The neoclassical age in English literature spanned from the late 17th century to the mid-18th century. It was marked by a revival of interest in the classical literature of ancient Greece and Rome. This period is also known as the Age of Reason, the Enlightenment, or the Augustan Age, as it was characterized by an emphasis on reason, rationality, and order. The writers of this period were influenced by the works of classical authors such as Horace, Virgil, and Homer, as well as by the ideas of the Enlightenment thinkers like John Locke and Isaac Newton. They sought to imitate the classical style in their works, which were marked by clarity, simplicity, and elegance. Here are some of the significant literary forms of the neoclassical period. Heroic Couplet The heroic couplet was a rhyming pair of lines in iambic pentameter, which was used in epic poetry, satires, and other forms of literature. The most famous writer of heroic couplets was Alexander Pope, who used this form in his satirical works such as The Rape of the Lock and An Essay on Man. Satire. Satire was a literary form that used humor, irony, and exaggeration to criticize human follies and vices. The writers of the neoclassical period used satire to criticize social and political institutions, as well as to mock human behavior. Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travels and Alexander Pope's The Dunciad are excellent examples of satirical works of this period. Comedy of Manners Comedy of Manners was a type of comedy that focused on the social behavior of the upper classes. The writers of this form used witty and sophisticated dialogue to expose the hypocrisy and superficiality of their characters. William Congreve's The Way of the World and Richard Brinsley Sheridan's The School for Scandal are among the best-known works of Comedy of Manners. Restoration Drama Restoration Drama was a type of drama that emerged after the restoration of the monarchy in England in 1660. This type of drama was marked by its explicit and bawdy humor, witty dialogue, and complex plots. John Dryden's All for Love and William Wycherley's The Country Wife are examples of restoration drama. Novel The novel emerged as a popular literary form during the neoclassical period. The writers of this form used realistic characters and settings to explore social and moral issues. Daniel Defoe's Robinson Crusoe, Samuel Richardson's Pamela, and Henry Fielding's Tom Jones are among the most famous novels of this period. Literary Criticism During the neoclassical period, literary criticism became an important aspect of literary culture. Writers such as John Dryden and Samuel Johnson wrote influential critical works that helped to establish the norms and standards of English literature. The neoclassical period in English literature saw the emergence of several literary forms that were marked by a revival of classical ideals and a focus on reason and rationality. The neoclassical period in English literature saw the emergence of several writers whose works were marked by a revival of classical ideals and a focus on reason and rationality. Here are some of the most significant writers of this period and their works. John Dryden John Dryden was a poet, playwright, and critic who was the leading literary figure of the Restoration period. He is known for his heroic couplets, which he used in his plays, such as All for Love and Marriage a la Mode. Dryden also wrote several critical works, including an essay of dramatic poesy, which defended the classical rules of drama. Alexander Pope Alexander Pope was a poet and satirist who is best known for his use of the heroic couplet in works such as The Rape of the Lock and An Essay on Man. His works were marked by their wit, irony, and satire, which he used to criticize the social and political institutions of his time. Samuel Johnson 
Samuel Johnson was a writer, lexicographer, and critic who is best known for his Dictionary of the English Language. He also wrote several works of literary criticism, including The Lives of the Poets, which is a series of biographical sketches of English poets from the 17th and 18th centuries. Jonathan Swift Jonathan Swift was a satirist and essayist who is best known for his novel Gulliver's Travels. The novel is a satire on human nature and society, and it uses the device of a travelogue to explore various aspects of human behavior. William Congreve William Congreve was a playwright who is best known for his witty and sophisticated comedies of manners, such as The Way of the World. His works were marked by their intricate plots, clever dialogue, and social satire. Samuel Richardson Samuel Richardson was a novelist who is best known for his novel Pamela, which tells the story of a virtuous servant girl who resists the advances of her employer. The novel was groundbreaking in its use of a first-person narrative and its exploration of moral and social issues. Henry Fielding Henry Fielding was a novelist and playwright who is best known for his novel Tom Jones, which tells the story of a young man's adventures and misadventures in 18th century England. The novel is a masterpiece of realism and social satire. In conclusion, the neoclassical age in English literature was marked by a revival of classical ideals and a focus on reason and rationality. The writers of this period sought to imitate the classical style in their works, which were marked by clarity, simplicity, and elegance. The literature of this period had a significant impact on the development of English literature and continues to be studied and appreciated today.